Assalamu alaikum hello everyone Today I just thought to do a live session live painting on a tote bag And here are some of the paintings which I already did on my cotton tote bag using one stroke technique something like that I'm going to do today this is not a pre-planned one so and this is another one roses or most of our favorite subject to paint and many of us feel a bit hard to paint roses but if you learned one stroke technique you will find it easier so let me show you what are all the materials required to do painting on this tote bag firstly this kind of tote bag a palette to load your paint anything which has smoother surface so that it will be easy for us to do a uh, brush loading you can use acrylic paint normal fine artist grade acrylics or uh, fabric paint okay today this is the first time i'm going to try using this Normally, I use uh, paint from other brand, fabric paints from other brand, and also I use uh, acrylic paints as well. But this time, I'm going to try using this Deco Art fabric paint. I have very few colors. I'm just having green. Cadmium yellow, true blue color, primary red or Christmas red, and uh, white. White is the main color we use in most of our one stroke painting because that's what we use to highlight and also fabric medium this is also from deco art so now i'm gonna load my brush i mean load my palette and uh, let me show you what are all the brushes i'm going to use today here is my flat brush this is from ashley size 10 or you can use your finger to measure uh, the size of the blister up to this line you can consider this as one inch and uh, this is like one by four quarter inch flat brush water jar to wash your brush try to have uh, two water jars, one for clean water and one for dirty water. I'm just gonna wash my brush and a paper towel or a rough cloth to remove the excess water from the brush. Just I'm um, washing my brush by going back and forth, drain the excess water and wipe it on a paper towel or a rough cloth. I already draw 
a circle and then some stems using the pencil to get the idea where we gonna paint our flower and also the leaf I'm gonna load my palette with the true blue color just now only I'm gonna open it Okay, I'm just gonna pour a little bit. Oh, it seems like we need to shake it before we pour. Okay, let me check again. Okay. And a little bit of red primary red okay one more time let me shake it well and I'm gonna pour a bit This seems very uh, in a kind of thin liquid consistency. I don't know how this gonna came out. And now I'm gonna open white. Okay, again, let me shake it well and pour a bit over here. I don't think we need fabric medium now as uh, the consistency of the paint is already very thin. Okay, now I'm going to start from here. Firstly, I'm going to mix a little touch of red with this blue to get the hint of purple. When if you learned color mixing or color theory, you will get to know how to get different shades using very few primary colors. Okay, I'm mixing it well. If you guys have got any doubt regarding one stroke painting or normally about painting, just drop your questions in comment. I'll try to answer you all, okay? Okay, now using this mixture, I'm gonna block the background. When we paint on paper, it will be very smooth and uh, when you paint on canvas or cloth, it will be a bit tricky. But if you practice a lot, you can get it. And also we have to redo on top of each stroke to cover the whole area. So before start adding the strokes, if we block the background first, it will be easy for us to uh, hide the background okay so now I mixed the color here is our paint the violet we got now I'm gonna block the background first 
see you can see you, you cannot easily block the background so that's the reason if you block the background first and then you add the details over for the petals it will be easy for you to cover I normally use my filbert brush to cover the background that will be easy for me to add the strokes sorry excuse me guys for the background noise to add the details i use fine tip brush and to hide i mean block the background i use this kind of old filbert brush I hope I hope you can see the difference between the brushes you know when I used the first brush I could find it a bit harder to block the background but this time this is much easier for me just I'm blocking the background for the flower Now I'm gonna add some leaves before adding details to my peony. Peony or rose, we can do anything. Okay, so now I'm gonna add some leaves here and here. Okay. For the leaves, I'm going to use the green, the true green and uh, cadmium yellow. But to block the background, I'm ju just gonna use this green alone. Okay, let me shake it well. I'm gonna pour some paint on my palette. Okay. Now I'm going to use the same brush, same filbert brush and I'm going to load my brush. Okay. Now I'm just going to add few leaves here and there. I'm going to start from here. Okay. If you learn the basic strokes for uh, using one stroke technique, you will find easier to paint the leaves, even to block the background. That will help you a lot. Just shake, shake, shake and lean. And over here. And a leaf over here. It's okay if it didn't come out well because we're going to add details on top of this again. I'm going to add a leaf over here. A leaf over here, a leaf over here. Your painting doesn't need to be perfect, just enjoy the progress. That's what I used to tell my students every time. here 
Okay, and few more smaller leaves here also. Okay, so uh, as of now, this much is enough. Let's add details for this flower. Now I'm gonna touch white, uh, sorry, red on the one side, white on the other side. I'm gonna load my brush by going back and forth okay and I'm gonna touch a little bit blue on the side of red as I wanna have the hint of violet okay let me put it down and as the consistency of the paint is very thin maybe it will be very hard for you guys to control the color let's try this over here i'm gonna start from here just drag the color at the bottom i think i need to add a little more white so that it will be visible clearly so one more time on top of this you can redo on top of this as many time as possible until you get satisfied okay Okay, now I'm going to add this next petal. Keep loading your brush every time. Now the second petal over here. Just pull the color inwards. One more time. And again pull the color. Now again I'm loading my brush. And the next petal over here. Okay. Just pull the color at the bottom inwards. Keep loading your brush. The next petal over here. And again pull the color inwards. more time and the next petal over here
and pull the colors inwards okay now i'm gonna add a petal over here One stroke is all about loading more than two, one color in a single brush and using the same stroke again and again we can create one flower, we can complete a flower. And now I'm adding the second layer of petal. If you guys love this just uh, like it and share it with your friends so that they too can watch this video and learn something from this Okay. And the third layer. Just pull the colors inwards at the bottom. Now the slider strokes I'm adding. Now filling the space by adding a few more slider strokes. And the last petal over here. Okay, now we completed the flower. I'm gonna add a flower bird over here. One more here. One more here and uh, one more here. One here. And one more here. 
okay so so far we did this mesh now I'm going to add some details for the leaves so now I'm going to wash my brush first and now I'm going to take the green again along with that I'm going to take yellow and also if needed we can touch a little bit of white This yellow seems a bit thick comparing to other colors. I'm gonna load one side with green, another side with yellow. So now I'm gonna add the details again. again here Now I'm going to connect them all together. Okay. Keep loading your brush. Okay, now I'm going to connect them all together. Give less pressure so that you will get the thinner strokes. Okay. Now I'm gonna add details on, on the leaves which are in the left side of the flower.
Okay, now I'm gonna add few details for the flower bud. Now I'm gonna connect them all together. Again, give minimum pressure. And now I'm gonna add few fillers to make the artwork looks a bit more attractive. So we are done with the painting. I hope you guys like this, like the output. And last but not least, I'm gonna add little yellow dots in the middle of the rose. Okay. Okay, I'm done. If you wish, you can add more highlights using yellow for the leaves and also the flower bird. Once again, I'm telling you, your painting doesn't need to be perfect. So just enjoy the progress. Okay, and if you wish, you can add some white outlines over here. Let me show you the closer look of the painting. Okay, here is the output. Let me show you the other side of the uh, tool bag as well. This is what I painted now and here is the other side of the painting. In just a moment guys. So here is the other side of the painting. Let me show you clearly. So here is the tote bag, the completed view, the finished product. Actually, it will be like this way. So this is the completed bag i hope you guys love this okay my camera is shaking okay this is a closer look this is what we painted right now and this is something which i painted already and this one this side i painted using acrylic paints artist grade and this side i used fabric paint um deco art fabric paint this side and on the other side i used the paint from reeves 
fine artist grade acrylic you can try with both and uh, you can find your favorite but when i paint with acrylic uh, i had to redo on top of each petals so many times but when i used now uh, the deco art fabric paint as it was a little bit thin comparing to uh, the reefs acrylic uh, i find this easier to block the background in one or two go i hope you love this video if you really like this and if you feel uh, like you learned something from this video just share it like it uh, share with your friends and family Okay, I'm going to end this live session. Thank you so much. Uh, take care of you and bye-bye.